All right, everybody. Holy Batman. Um, I think I've overdone it, but this is what I intend to wear on duty at work. Okay. Um, we have the sidearm. We have the extra mag. Okay. And before anybody go crazy, I know it's on the wrong side, but uh, I'm kind of used to going over this way anyway when I wear the uh, inside the waistband uh, holsters. And uh, the magazine usually sticks out right here where the belt buckle is. So I'm kind of used to pulling the extra mag from this side anyway. So uh, don't have a heart attack, folks. I know it's on the wrong side, but I kind of I kind of have to distribute the weight a little evenly. Okay, here in this pouch, I have uh, the Victoria Knox Trekker. It's one hand open. So this is my main blade that I would be uh, working with on the job. Okay. Uh, as everybody knows, the Victoria Knox Trekker has other tools on there. I'm not going to go through all that right now. Um, put that in there and clip that, clip that in. And uh, the peanut lighter dangling, you know, got to have, got to play with my uh, peanut. Okay. Um, here, uh, some of you may be familiar with this pouch, the Maxpedition pouch that I used to use at the job that I am going back to. Um, I wasn't allowed to wear this uh, in my recent job that I uh, resigned from because they didn't even allow us to have knives or anything metal. So, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, this is a tourniquet, okay? My old light flashlight. And uh, everything in here is basically geared towards treating wounds, serious wounds. I have a pair of medical shears in here. Okay, so bandages, uh, chest seal, uh, stuff like that. So, you know. If you're gonna carry a gun, I guess, you know, be on the safe side, carry some stuff to help the wounded. You know, it might the person you might be helping is the per your, yourself, you know? So you never know. Uh, tourniquet is definitely a must. Um, I have a CPR mask here dangling. And because of course, the Victoria Knox uh, Trekker doesn't come with pliers like Leatherman's do, I carry my uh, Knipix pliers here in case I have to use pliers to get at stuff and also uh, I'm going to be wearing cargo pants so I'm always going to have my handy dandy uh, little pouch here that's going to have my pen it's going to have my rough rider secondary uh, blade uh, my little tool in case the Victoria Knox uh, knife with the screwdriver is not enough. I have a little ferro rod kit here. You know, always got to have a ferro rod somewhere, right? Um, my little notepad, probably use this a lot during work. Uh, in here, I'm gonna have a lighter, my eyeglass wipe and all that. I, I, you guys are probably familiar with it if you've been watching my videos. So that goes in my cargo pants pocket like that and that's it you know the winter time is coming around so I'm probably going to be wearing a, a coat or a jacket to hide all this I know I'm going to be bulging out and stuff but I'm not really uh, concerned about appearances I think people will realize that I am carrying stuff on me so I'm not going to worry about that as far as um, all the things that I think I may need during the course of my tour of duty. Uh, I will be an armed guard uh, slash loss prevention agent uh, looking after uh, more than one facility at a time. I may be going from facility to facility. And um, I think I'm well equipped. In addition to 
what I have on my belt, I will be wearing body armor. Um, so I think uh, this is it. This is I now dang old nerd is gonna say, "Holy Batman, this this is a utility belt for sure." Uh, now the next next belt was I did cut it to 39 inches. Uh, I think, uh, and it comes all the way to here, this belt loop right here. I'm glad, I'm glad I did cut it long because the belt loop, the extra belt loop goes into this belt loop instead of hanging out. If I had cut it one inch shorter, the extra belt loop would have been hanging out right here. And I don't want to cut it any shorter than that because I need a little thickness here for the pouch right here. So pretty much, I think, uh, it's pretty comfortable. As you can see, there's absolutely nothing in the back here that will uh, make me uncomfortable when I'm sitting down or driving. So I think this is a win. Uh, you guys might like freak out and say, oh, that's a pretty big pouch. But that's what she said, you know? So uh, what do you think, guys? Leave a comment down below. I think this is gonna work for uh, work you know i tend i, I want to wear this with my other edc pouches and stuff like this uh, when i'm off duty or not working i'll probably take this flashlight and put it on here let me turn off the light okay put this flashlight on here like this and wear it on here like i always do instead of this big uh, medical pouch um, that I kind of made, uh, so, yeah, so, uh, I probably, um, uh, when I'm not working, I'll probably wear belts like this, because I'm not, I'm not gonna have that much stuff on me, but, uh, my wife made a comment that everything here on here looks pretty heavy, but I assure you, I don't feel any of the weight, I actually, uh, You know, I think this is actually more stealthy and more secure and more comfortable than the duty belt I used to wear as a police officer. Um, I, I can imagine myself running and being more dynamic with it on than a duty belt, police duty belt. Uh, I think uh, this will work. You know, uh, when, uh, when I have to be in a more formal setting where I have to be less tactical, I can take the belt off, take this pouch and this pouch off, and uh, just sport the uh, weapon. The weapon is not hanging on the belt. It's a paddle, it's a paddle holster. This, uh, the paddle is inside my pants, and uh, it's not putting any stress or weight on the belt itself. So uh, that's fine where it is, and it's very comfortable. Feels great. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you think this will work? I think it will. Um, especially when I need uh, to do some uh, medical aid or whatever on myself or somebody else, CPR mask, tourniquet, and all the trauma uh, bandages and stuff in here. Uh, I think uh, the only thing I probably add to all this is a handkerchief in my pocket or something like that. Um, of course, my cell phone will go in here, uh, my wallet. And ID and everything will go, it's already in, in this pocket right here. So, yeah, I, I like it. Um, I can't wait to go to work like this, and I'm sure, uh, I don't know if I'm going to impress anybody, but hey, as long as I impress myself, I'm good to go. Okay. Um, said. We don't wear uniforms, we are plain clothes, but uh, I, I like to wear semi-tactical pants. I like to wear my shirts tucked in when I'm wearing stuff like this, and I probably wear a jacket over this. In the summertime, that's a different story. I might have to change it up a little bit where I might have to go to a uh, appendix holster, but for now, since it's winter time, I'm not gonna worry about that. I could easily switch over to appendix uh, this uh, uh, warrior land holster 
is basically a inside holster, so inside the waistband holster anyway, that I modded to be in the outside right now. So in the summertime, I'll probably switch it back to the inside holster, stick this in, put the magazine on this side, um, you know, and move the pouch, I don't know. Uh, maybe put the uh, extra mag somewhere. <laughs> I'll figure it out. When the summertime comes, I'll deal with it then. But for now, I think I like it. Leave a comment down below. If you think it's too much, let me know. Any suggestions? Um, appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and uh, see you around.